Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. James here from dragonblogger.com. Today I have a little walkthrough of the software of the Mag TV media player. This is the Premiere media player. Um, not sure you guys can see this box. It's a little dark in the room. Um, I'm actually in my bedroom doing this on my big screen projector. So you guys can see this a little better. Let me turn it on and power it up. And hopefully it comes on pretty good quick, quick for you guys. May take a couple minutes to load. I wanted to walk you guys through everything. As you can see, we have the screen, it comes on. I hope you guys can see all this. I'm going to try to zoom out just slightly a little bit so you guys can tell. I mean, I'm using a pretty big screen. This screen gives her website, magtv.com. So if you guys want to check it out, you can check it out there. Now we're just loading through some more screens. This is initial load up, so you guys are seeing what I'm seeing for the first time. I actually haven't played with this and I did that on purpose because I wanted to walk you guys through the load up as we go. Now I apologize it's taking for so long I'm actually gonna stop the video for a second until it gets to the next screen. Okay now I'll flip to the other screen as you can see it's Android starting up. Optimizing apps, 5 of 36, so it might take a couple minutes to optimize through these. And, I mean, it just depends. Yours may or may not do that. I'm, you know, this is my first time playing with this, so maybe that's the way it comes. So it optimizes the apps perfect for you. Either way, good little hint. I'm going to, you know, cut the screen out so you guys don't see it always optimizing the whole thing. Now we're going through, we're up to 11. You know, it's going to go through them. Now we're going, fl you know, flying through. We're at 20, 27, 30, well, 29, almost 30, now 30. So we're there. Just takes a few minutes to optimize, not starting apps, upgrading contacts, and finishing boot. So this is first boot up. It won't do this after you do that. Now you get the screen. It says, Welcome to MagTV.com. Click Next to start setup. Now I'm going to click English. If you guys want to change this, I'm sure you can. You know, I'm going to stick with English because that's my preferred English. Now it'll give you adjustments. So if you guys want, you can shrink the screen down. If you guys see that. Or go back up. I'm going to keep the screen all the way at the largest setting. That's because I'm on my wall. I'll zoom out a little. But that's pretty much that. Now it asks if you want to connect to Ethernet or Wi-Fi. If you want to connect to Wi-Fi, you click it. It'll give you the options. Most of you guys know how to do that. You find your Wi-Fi uh, network and enter your thing. I'm just going to click finish for now. And now we're loaded. Right here is your Mag TV media player. I'm actually going to do that one later on another walkthrough. I just want to give you guys a little glimpse of stuff. You know, if you want apps, they have a thing for apps. App installer, factory resets, HD file management, Google settings, you know, quick starts, data backups, YouTube, speed test. It definitely comes with a speed test. You can even add a VPN if you want. I may or may not have the VPN. I don't really think I'll need it, but we'll see. Mag TV tools. I'm not going to go into that. I'm sure that's just your regular, like your IP factory reset. We'll get into more of the other stuff later. Then you have the OTA Updater Center, Fact Center, their website, and web browser. We'll click web browser. Web browser probably won't load because I'm not on the internet. Not a big deal, like I said. But as you can see, you can go on the internet. You can web search anything. You can play Facebook. I'm sure you can even play your Facebook games on this. 
Now we're going to back out. As you can see, it shows some pages and stuff like that. We're going to hit home on the remote. Hopefully we can get back to the home page. We're going to go into settings. Now you have your other settings like Ethernet, Wi-Fi, screen scale, like we were just doing, HDMI output, sound output, if you PCM, HDMI, I have Bluetooth speakers in here, so I'll probably do Bluetooth or I'll do the sound bar. Let's back out. You can actually do Bluetooth devices if you want to add Bluetooth, weather settings, advanced Wi-Fi, date and time. Now I'm going to go into advanced tools, more settings, and you can go in here and you can mess with your display, your apps, your storage. We'll go into storage. You know, it has 8 gigabytes of storage up there, which is pretty good. I mean, factory data reset, so if you want to do a factory reset, you can. Date and time, language, keyboard layout, HDMI, playback and settings, accessibilities, even more settings. You know, we have the remote, you know, add accessories. I'll probably add a keyboarded remote. Location, security restrictions, add account. Now we'll click this one, preferences. More settings, it gives you like your Wi-Fi, your data usage, Bluetooth, you know, display, storage, sounds, locations, pretty much everything I just told you. And then some. So now we're going to back up. We're going to go into screensaver. This does have a screensaver, so if you want to hit screensaver, you can hit every four minutes, eight minutes, or never. I'm going to leave it on never because I probably won't need it. Not a big deal. That's pretty much the walkthrough of the operating system on this. Now, to get back out, you just arrow back over, and then you're here. Now, this is, that is the operating system walkthrough of the Mag TV. Like I said, I will be doing a walkthrough of the media player probably in the next video because I'm pretty sure you got to uh, install that one. Um, your MagTV.com, if you want to go to their website and check stuff out, you can. Fax, same thing, you know, the Q OTA updater. It says that, you know, there's no data connection, so we'll ignore that for now. But I'm pretty sure there is no updates available right now. But that's pretty much that. That's where you'll be updating it. It will update itself every couple, you know, weeks, I believe, when you power it on and on. Thank you for checking out my little operating system walkthrough of the Mag TV Premier Media Box. And uh, keep your eyes out for the Mag TV Media Center uh, app walkthrough and the written review on DragonBlogger.com. Thank you. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product.